Yes, it's it's they're they're claiming it's ideal for Project X Cloud. Mm-hmm. Um, in fact, they're going to come out with, and we we already have them because we're cool. Um, clips for the uh, controllers that let you clip your phone to it. Um, but it will take. Um, this device is kind of like an X, it's like half Xbox controller, half PlayStation controller. Mm-hmm. Let's mm-hmm. say 40% PlayStation controller, 50% Xbox controller, so, 10% Super Nintendo. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, the, the, the sticks are on the bottom. The, the, mm-hmm. uh, the, uh, they the, swap. The triggers and the bumpers are, are kind of sized at even size and everything. So I, ideally, this this is meant to be a lower profile version of what. Uh, and, and you know, I've been doing that with the Xbox controller itself, and it is kind of it's a lot to throw in your back, right? So this 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 is just a lower profile of that. So it makes a lot of sense for something like that. Um, and the, the cool thing about m- the majority of their controllers mm-hmm. um, is that. They have, I can't remember what the application is called. Uh, Ultim- it's their ultimate software that allows you to customize button mapping, the sensitivity sensitivity of the stick and triggers. Mm-hmm. Um, you can actually create controller profiles and switch between them on the fly from on the controller, um, which I thought was pretty, which is pretty cool. Um, so I don't know. I thought it was a pretty cool device. Um, and I'm pretty sure cross-platform i'm guessing it'll work on ios and android the price was good too yeah it's not about 45 bucks it's cheaper yeah. than anything else i thought it was even yeah. it's cheaper than any other major yeah. manufacturers yeah because it, it, it's something like 50 or 60 bucks if you get a straight up xbox controller correct 